Hello everyone, come in, welcome to this tutorial. I'm so happy to welcome you. Today we will learn more how to animate with a new puppet layer from Tip Animation 12. This is the second part of our tutorial about the puppet layer. In the first part, we've seen how to rig our character. If you have not already watched it, I invite you to do so via the link in the upper part of this video. In order to follow this tutorial, we will use Regis Raccoon animation file, which you can download via the link in the description. Let's meet up again Regis, our raccoon. Say hello, Regis. Hello, everyone. Once you rigged your character, you can choose the animate mode in the rigging tool panel. All the bones will become blue to show that you are in the animate mode. As you can see, you will have the possibility to rotate your bones. You just have to click on the bone and move. It will create automatically a key in your timeline. So if you need to create a movement of the arm, for example, I will extend my frames and then I just have to go on the timeline where I want the last position of my arm and I move the bone on my arm. It will create a new key. The event will calculate automatically the in-between between, between two keys. So if I modify my second key, TE Paint will calculate again all the in-between. As you can see, the pixel quality of my drawings will not be altered. So no worries for creating some successive movements. If I want to move one of my key in the timeline, I just have to click, hold, drag and drop my key where I want to put it. As you can rotate your bone, you can also do some stretch and squash on one of your bone. To do so, you will have to hold Ctrl click on the bone and move on one side to stretch it or on the other side to squash it. The rotation plus the stretch and squash will allow you to animate easily your character. If you need to move, resize, rotate or stretch and squash your puppet, you can also use the bounding box. It will allow you to move freely the entire puppet in the scene. Obviously, you can animate this bounding box with keys in the timeline. By default, TePaint will calculate linearly the value between two keys. It is possible to refine the movement thanks to speed curves. To do so, I just have to go on my timeline and open the speed curve submenu of my puppet layer. It will allow you to do ease in and ease out between two keys and change the timing of your movement. You just have to click, hold, drag and drop on the curve to change the behavior between the two keys. With a right click, I can add a point on my curve. I can also delete one of my key from the puppet menu. If ever I want, I can choose to have a curve type in linear or in spline. I can also copy my entire curve path to paste it on another curve between two keys. The curves will match the length between the keys. Finally, I can reset my curve from the puppet menu. By the way, in the rigging tool panel, you will have three buttons that will allow you to create a key on the bonding box, keys on all bones of your current frame, and a key on your current puppet layer. If you need to delete one or more keys, you just have to right click on the key and choose delete this key, you can also delete the key of your bone parent and its bone's children. Finally, you can delete all the keys of your current frame with delete all keys for all involved frames. Now we would like to change Rish's head pose. In this case, you can right click on the bone of the head, click on change pose and select the pose you need in the image library panel opened. And click on OK to apply the new pose on the bone it will create a new instance in the timeline. You can also create new pose in the image library thanks to two buttons in the rigging tool panel. The empty pose will create a new pose totally empty in the image library of your current bone folder. So you will have the possibility to draw a new pose from scratch. The new pose will create a new pose with the current drawing in the image library of your current bone folder. In this case, you will reuse the existing drawing to draw the new pose. In both options, you just have to draw with the drawing tool on your canvas. 
at any moment you can modify or readjust your character rigs. To do so, you just have to choose rig mode in your rigging tool panel. Your rig will come back to typos and you could easily modify each bones even if you have already animated. But be careful, T-Paint will recalculate every single frame of your animation and it could desynchronize some parts. So in some case, you will have to readjust your animation after that. And that's all for the double tutorial about the puppet layer. Hope you had a great time. Subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out our social media for more content and tips. Thank you and see ya next time.